Hello everybody, it's Angel. I am back. <laughs> I'm making a video today. Uh, forgive my appearance. I'll explain later. Um, it's been a while since I made a video. This month has been a little busy. <laughs> a little bit crazy. Uh, the first part of the month, my work had Marble Crazy. Uh, super fun wonderful event I now have some time so I'll be able to get those videos edited and I'd like to post a couple of those videos on this channel so you guys can enjoy some of the beautiful marbles that I got to see and experience and some of the amazing artists that I got to be around and watch create it's super cool so of course i want to share that with you guys after that was spring break with the kids at home the house feels really small i didn't really get around to it then plus work was really busy because we were kind of recovering from marble crazy and that's around the time that the world got a little crazy or at least the united states got a little crazy uh, started to get a little crazy. Around the time uh, that the kids spring break was ending, we got a notification that the kids were going to be uh, out of school for a couple more weeks. And Jay got a notification that he would be working from home. And then, you know, we got notified that all non-essential businesses needed to be closed and social distancing was the thing so my company uh, decided that they were going to be closed to the public here recently Kansas City and the Lawrence area is now at a stay at home phase and so um, we're trying to figure all of that out. A couple of days ago, I started experiencing a lot of pain in my lower abdomen. And so I, you know, reluctantly, <laughs> very reluctantly, went to the emergency room and no real answers came from that, but it's either appendicitis or diverticulitis I think that's how you say it so um, I've got my medicines and I'm doing what I can to take it a little easy but I've been really feeling bad that I haven't been making a video and there's so much to make videos about right now um, I am feeling very, very blessed that uh, I know that we will have our fresh vegetables, some fruits, um, in the summer for sure, no matter what, because we've been doing this gardening thing in our yard for a couple of years now. So we're, we're kind of ahead of the game. Uh, the company that we normally get our truckloads of compost from is closed down until further notice, but even though we're planning on getting some more truckloads of compost, we can live without it. We've still got all of the growing capacity that we had before, so that is wonderful. I am really staying focused on the positives the positives of everything that's going on right now um it dawned on me that right now every single brilliant mind in this whole world is focused on finding a way to fix the problem with this virus and i don't know about you but that thought makes me feel so much better. We should all take peace in the fact that, you know, everybody is working on this. Everybody is focused. Everybody has a common goal. And that is really, really something amazing and wonderful. I also think that 
um, especially here in America, that a lot of people are coming to the realization that certain things are broken. They're not working the way that we would have hoped that they would in uh, uh, emergency situations with, such as this. So I think that this is going to help create better solutions. I think more people are going to garden this year. More people are going to start realizing um, how important it is to take responsibility for your own food as much as you possibly can. I think that's wonderful and amazing and I'm very excited to help out anybody who is at the beginner level. I by no means consider myself an expert but I would love to help out anybody who is beginning stages of getting a garden together or trying to figure out how to process these foods and make them last for your family. I am still in the learning stages, but I am willing to help out anybody, anytime, anywhere. And I think that the comment section down below is a great opportunity for that. I think that we have a wonderful opportunity here to come together and a great platform to come together as community, not just as a country, but worldwide in like-minded people that want to, you know, become a little more self-sufficient, to learn how to grow their own food, to help create a better environment for their food to grow and to be a little more resourceful on things. So that is something that I just wanted to, you know, talk to you guys about and let you know kind of what was in my thoughts and in my head when all this was going on. And now another thing that I would like to say is I've noticed that in all of this uh, coming together, the first thing a lot of people jump to is judgment. And I've said it before on one of my videos, um, I really think judgment is ugly. It's really ugly. It doesn't benefit anything. It doesn't help anything. I know that the people that express themselves in this way are doing it from a place of love and concern. Um, it, it's just not something that helps. And normally, I mean, think of yourself, if somebody comes at you in a judgmental forum are you more apt to you know rethink your choices and decisions and be like oh yeah you're you're right that that's something that i need to change in myself or are you more likely to shut down and say i'm gonna do what i want and this is how i do it and i don't care what you think I just, I just hope that everybody takes into consideration that we're all processing a lot and I don't want to cry. This is not a cry video. I don't know why my voice is making it sound like I'm going to cry because I don't want to cry. But um, we're all processing a lot. We're going through a lot um, and this is a time we need to come together to join and you know now i get it we can't have a group hug right now you know i get that but you know there's no reason why you know our thoughts our ideas our you know celebrations our joy our you know why we can't come together and appreciate everybody for who they are and here I go again I get the cry voice with that being said I realize that's kind of a 
you know, counterbalance right there because me talking about people being judgmental is kind of judging people for being judgmental and that's contradictory. I just, I would like to see everybody move forward in an active manner where we can accomplish things and solve problems and uh, figure out what is best for the whole um, while making sure that everybody is taken care of individually. So I don't see how that is possible if we're all just sitting around judging each other, you know, pointing fingers and just my thought, you know, judge away if that's your thing. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be mad at ya. I'm just, I just think that, you know, we could be a little more productive if we leave that part of ourselves behind. But I don't really have any other point to this video other than just saying hi and I miss you guys and I love your guts and I hope that everybody is safe and secure and taken care of and I uh, hope that we can get back on track on our lives as soon as possible and until then I'm trying to think of the best ways to help educate and entertain everybody because got a lot of time on my hands right now so what better way to use that than to help educate and entertain because I've got a camera and I got time and what else am I gonna do but uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day love your guts